And we're back in the game with some more Empire Total War Dark Mod, playing as the Ottomans. And I believe there's an army, yet again, sitting outside our capital, trying to get into our capital. But we do have fortifications, don't we? And they haven't brought any artillery to a gunfight. Silly billies. They do have a lot of infantry, though. That's the problem. Uh... They are fairly low morale. They do have a general, but we might be able to break enough of their units. Uh, it's going to be close. They do outnumber us. We really don't want to lose our capital. We actually haven't lost our capital since the beginning of the campaign. Now, some people might say, well, you shouldn't lose your capital, but they obviously haven't watched this campaign, which has been a complete disaster from the beginning, literally from the first minute of the first episode of the first turn. All right, so can we figure out where they're going to be coming in from? It looks like they could be coming in from all four sides. Not good. We've got units outside. We don't have that many buildings in, considering it is a port. Right, I'm going to put you positioned there. You don't have to dismount them. Why they're positioned like that, I have no idea. Right, get you along there, so you can make use of those guns. We're just going to have to hope that we can guess right where they're going to come in from. Just put our units over as much of the wall section as we can. Well, that's fine. Go there. Not exactly where I wanted you. Alright. There's no orientation towards what's north, south, east or west, is there? Yes, there is. Right there on the radar map. If we were looking at the campaign map and everything was as it should be, they would be coming in from southeast, maybe? Alright, I'm going to take a guess and see if they do fact, come in that direction. Got another unit out here. Do we have any more units hiding outside? Got a small cavalry force. And we do have some Janissaries out there. You know what? I could do something unexpected and put them out there with the deployables, couldn't I? That'd be interesting. But you know what? I'm just going to put them inside with the deployables just in case they gain control of this gatehouse and then they'll come in through there we'll be ready for them Do we have anyone in these buildings? No I think we're set up Well, there they are so I guess we were wrong, weren't we? Because that is directly south of the settlement. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Doesn't look like we can see all their units. I'm guessing that most of their Native American units are hidden in this uh, shrubs. There's some of them. They are getting hits in. Let's switch over. What's that? Can't shot? Yes, I want quick lime. We haven't researched it yet. Oh, there's some nice artillery shells coming in. Let's see if they'll make a dent in the enemy formations. That one's taking some damage. Those ones aren't. Uh, 
And yes, the Dutch are in fact bringing troops, a vast number of troops from South America and Sri Lanka and Ceylon and also Holland just to go after the Ottomans. If anyone has ever played a, a, a Dutch campaign, were you so intent on going after the Ottomans that you ignored the rest of Europe, the Americas and India? I think me not. There's uh, some good trade opportunities from South America for the Dutch. There's some very good trade opportunities for the Dutch in the Indies. And yet they've come after Istanbul and Rumelia and Anatolia and Greece. Literally non-stop. Well, that looked like it was going to cause a lot of damage, but we killed off about four men. Do we have anyone else coming in? Yeah, these mortars don't seem to be as accurate for the human player. Right, tribal gunnery. There, two more units just popped up. I don't know why we could see them just now and not before. But yeah. Oh, now they're firing over here. Don't hit our own men. And guess what we did? We hit our own men, didn't we? Is it that unit? Nope. You're in melee. What is that unit? It's like swords. You're going to be needed over here. We've got four enemy units coming in. I think I'm going to have to start manually firing. Am I? All of their units are very close. They are grouped up over here. If any of them land like they just did on our troops, they're going to be a big problem. Who's wavering? Some of the Dutch. One of them. So they've abandoned most of the other parts. Except for over here. Alright, we're going to have to bring those Israelis over. And the armed populace, because they're going to auto-generate again. Got the musketmen there. Alright. These Islamic swordsmen will take them out fairly easily. I think we'll send you up here as well. And I'm going to bring you along here. Alright. Change the focus over here maybe. That should prevent any shots landing on our own troops. Now do we have you going to melee or do we have you trying to shoot through there? I suppose we could have you try to get up over here. They're supposed to be fairly accurate. The unit hasn't tried to get up yet. Yeah, we, we need somebody up over there. Right, we've got another unit coming in. I mean, they did have a lot of infantry. Why can't we select them? We do that. Yep. I think we're getting a lot of friendly fire. As long as we're killing the enemy as well. Oh, maybe we can target those units. They are appearing from out of nowhere, aren't they? Even their militia seem to be able to hide from us.
Right, what are you doing? Nope, you're going to have to go into melee as well. There's only 48 of them up there so far, but many more coming up. Right, we have broken that unit. Right, start firing down. A unit or two wavering over here. Our own units, that is. They still haven't made a move. I'm going to bring this unit of Islamic swordsmen up over here. Right. Still think we're doing more damage to the enemy firing over here. Ah, oh, there was a unit along there. Again, I couldn't see them. Or I wouldn't have taken them down there. Oh, another unit. Where do they keep popping up from? Okay, leave them there in case they try to climb up. Right, you firing on them? You should be. That's only a hundred men, so let's bring you back up over here. Right, we've got a lot of enemy units breaking. These two units have done very well, haven't they? Well, get more enemy units appearing from out of nowhere. You should be running. You're not going down the um, ladders, are you? Yes, you are. Get back up. No need for you to go down. Actually, you can come along here and help out. Oh, they bugged out, haven't they? They don't seem to be able to run. There you go, you can get up that slope. It's not like it's a frozen slope, or even that steep. Why well, they can't come through here, I don't know. Some of them are. Right, these ones are finally making their move. So I'm going to bring these ones up. And I'm going to bring you along here. Right, that unit's still holding out. Should be firing on them. Or we bring you along there. We've got 46 cavalry. Do we think we could take out those tribal gunners? Should we even try to take them out? Can't quite reach them. Not directly.
Well, those units are wavering. I think we're going to have to bring you up for support. Who's that back there? That's the General's bodyguard. We haven't got in any hits on that unit. Even though, it looks like they're within range. They're just skating across the ground how they do. You might be able to hit them like that. Now oh, we've got shots landing all over them. Well, we've seen off most of those units. And finally, we've got rid of this native musketman. I wasn't even paying attention to that unit, but they got wiped out somehow. No, do not go down back up. I'm sure they could break that unit. Melee. We actually need somebody over here who can shoot them. Who do we have here? Miserellis. Yeah. Come along here. I'm actually going to send them out. Let's see if they can do it. At the same time, I'm going to send the cavalry out. We haven't gotten any hits on this unit. They've got to be in range. Let's go with some explosive shots then. Well, you got into combat with them. See if you do take them out. Well, nope. come back in. So you're not very good at doing that, as I remember. Right, you also can now fire on them like that. Oh yeah, they got a good volley off against us. Just keep firing on them. Are they going to catch up to us? They have. Alright. Oh, we had to have killed some of them that time. Those shots are all over them. They're now coming up the walls as well. Is that our general? Yep. We've still got this unit out here. They're not really causing much damage, are they? But why don't we try to get rid of them? Have we killed any of that unit? Well, somebody killed some of them. Well, that's a bigger target, isn't it? How are we doing against this unit? Doing okay. You did not go down, did you? I ordered you down. Sitting right on top of the gatehouse, so you should be able to go out like that. They already had their rope ladders up, which don't reach all of the way. Look at that. Uh, that's some Mission Impossible stuff there. Right.
go ahead and kill them off. Yeah, it's going to be most of this episode, taking up this battle. Apparently there's a unit in there that is wavering. Looks like we're firing on our own positions. Not having much luck at hitting that one. Yeah, blowing up our own people there. Right, that unit did break. And you have taken out that unit. Good for you. So there's about four enemy units left, isn't there? Yep. We're blowing up our own fortress. Did we destroy the whole section? That's 50%. Alright, I guess we're going to have to stop firing. Can't afford to do that. But would be a lot more accurate, especially with that unit. Or we fire on that one. Can't reach the general's bodyguard, even if we go to solid shot. You were supposed to be chasing them. Alright then, in that case, come after them. They can't do anything unless they get inside. As ours. Come over here. Hey, finally we got some kills from the artillery. Well, I am going to stop them again. Because they're going to kill the Azars. Oop, they're wavering. They're shattered. Everybody come out here and kill this unit. Because that's another 200 men we can kill off. Shame we couldn't hit that general. Uh, timer is up. Well, we lost a thousand. Took out twenty seven hundred. Still leaves five hundred and fifty ish. The enemy. We're now going into Anatolia. And I guarantee they're going to bring in boatloads more troops. It just never ends. When it rains, it pours. And then it floods. And then there's a landslide. And you get buried. And that's what this campaign feels like. Yeah, I'm not giving you Anatolia. That is a lot, though. Oh, no. Seriously? That means Spain is going to side against us. Yep. Oh, those Moogles. 
No, they're just going to blockade our ports. Well, we'll try to take back Western Greece if we can. Master of Moogles. Alright, are they still on strike? Yep, but we might be able to get them under control. We lost a scholar. Two scholars. We did get some troops in at Rumelia. Or Rumelia. Let's get rid of those. This was a rebel settlement last time, but they had like full stacks out there. Oh yeah, they've got heavy cav in there, light lancers, powerful artilleries, mostly trash infantry though. But they obviously had a force that took Damascus. They have this one out here. Now, I was told to go east and try to conquer those lands. We've tried that, but now we have the opportunity of trying again. If I could get peace with the Ottomans, I'd definitely go east. Oh, no. No, you didn't. Seriously? You know, that's literally been, what, 110 episodes of this campaign, I think. All the way from 1700 to 1778. Uh, that's the first time they've ever taken it, and we didn't even have to offer them anything. Shame we can't trade with them, but oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Well... Well, well, well. Well, oh, well, oh, well. Would have liked that trade. Alright, who's at war with the Moogles then? Who is at war with them? Only myself. Unsurprisingly, my source still exists and they've actually expanded. France controls parts of um, India. Barbary States controls Kashmir, according to this man. Don't ask me how. Persia is still a thing, but only just. Ah, interesting. Alright. So they actually had to withdraw those troops, didn't they? That doesn't mean that they won't go to war with us again, because they're most likely to. You need to get a unit in here. Don't want to waste a good unit. Want to use a tiny little unit. Right, get in there. Get in there. Are we going to make any money? Yes, we are. Apparently. Even with our ports blockaded. Right. Research. We're down to two scholars. Uh, we are going to have research done very, very soon. What's our policies like? You know, we can't tax that. Maybe we could. Maybe we can tax them. Not quite. But we could definitely do with that extra money. Eight hundred and seventy two. I could pick up by about a thousand. Ministers. Still good ministers. Popularity is going up. Do we really only have two agents? Yes, that's all that we have. So we've got money. Now Dutch might attack again, as I say. That might be enough to prevent problems occurring. It's going to take 4,000. Of course, Spain, now it's not allied, might attack us. Are there any other big powers that we can get an alliance with? Almost certainly not. Oh, France, maybe?
we don't have anything to offer them. What's the problem? Oh well, Britain, nope, can't ally there. Russia, can't ally there. Spain, we can't. Sweden, we can. Ally of all of uh, those factions, unfortunately. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, the timer is actually up on this episode, so we're going to leave it right there. Another awesome defense and a completely unexpected peace treaty with the Dutch. I never thought that all would ever end.